hello guys welcome back to your favorite agriculture and agribusiness youtube channel today's episode we are going to be talking about the greatest pest for me uh this pest particularly is the one you are seeing on the screen now it's called fall armyworm is the greatest pest among our uh, maize farmer and if care is not taken if they infect any farm uh they can cause uh damage up to 90 percent they can hit up a whole a whole farm in the matter of this so uh i will be making this video for us to know this pest better uh how to control it and uh the best management practice uh, about it but first and foremost it will be very very good for us to know this pest which is the fall army worm fall army worm is a kind of a caterpillar it's from a caterpillar family uh, we call them we call them lepidoptera li, li, uh, so that's the family they become uh, they belong the class they belong so they are invasive in nature and is most particularly the larva stage that causes the harm and the type of uh, damage they cause on maize farm is when they attack your farm they will heat up the leaf they will heat up the silk and even your corn when they are uh, fruiting so and the damage is very very rampant especially uh, at the peak of the rainy season when the the, the rain is at the peak so uh, how do we now correct it how do we correct it so uh, there are very uh, like three to four different method we can use uh, to protect our farm to control this uh, pest on our farm the number one step is what we call the cultural practice uh, we often advise farmers to cultivate the habit of crop rotation if you are in the habit of always planting corn on your farm year in year out year in year out year in year out you stand a greater chance of being attacked by uh, what we call uh, the fall army worm so one of the best cultural practices is for you to do what we call crop rotation you don't stay on just one crop you plant different type of crop another thing is that you do intercropping because uh, fall army worm attack so many other crops, but they have preference for maize. So you plant, you intercrop some other crops that will not be attacked by this pest, like cassava or yam. You intercrop it with your maize. This will all, all, all also uh, help you in uh, control and preventing at some attack uh, on your farm. So another way by which you can uh, prevent yourself or control this uh, pest on your farm is by the use of uh, what we call the biological uh, process. The biological process is by you introducing some predators that feed on this pest. Uh, we have some beds that feed on the on the pest, on the larva. So you can put so those beds on your farm. They will pick them and eat them up. Uh, we also have some, uh, some uh, beneficial nematodes you can introduce and some parasitoids. So you talk to your uh, agri-consultant with this especially if you are doing uh, on a large scale another thing you can use to you can use to prevent it biologically is by planting your maize early enough so before the rain will reach the peak of the season when the pest will be very very much around uh, you are already harvesting your maize by that time and last but not the least which is the chemical control which is the last resort. Chemical control should be your last resort as a farmer because of the damage it does to you as a farmer, to the environment, and ultimately the residue it will leave on your soil and your crop. So if you are somebody who uh, have maize on the farm and you want to prevent yourself, you want to control this pest, uh, you spray your maize at six weeks with a chemical we call a caterpillar force. So that is the chemical you use, or you use uh, a chemical called Ampligo. So when you spray it at six weeks, it will be able to uh, help you to control uh, this pest on your farm. So uh, with this, I think uh, I've been able to bring some value to you. And one other thing before I go, uh, we have some farming practice that promote uh, the spread or the invitation of a uh, fall armyworm on, on our farm. Whenever you finish harvesting your maize like this, whenever you finish harvesting your maize like this, uh, you've harvested your maize, the stock, the remaining stock, some farmers have the habit of just packing them 
and keeping them up on their farm. This kind of a practice will give a uh, room for breeding space for uh, fall armyworm. Not only fall armyworm, but other insects that can uh, attack your farm. So, what is advice for farmers after harvesting your maize is for you to incorporate for you to incorporate this back into the soil. Use it to make another ridges or you burn it. Just make sure it disappears from your farm. If you leave it on your farm and you heap it up, it will serve as a breeding space and before you know it, so many insects will be coming up on your farm. Uh, with this, I've come to the end of today's uh, video and I hope you got uh, value one way or the other. If you are watching this channel for the first time, this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture. Everything we do on this channel is to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture. My name is Lawa Lusha Lawa. I'm a farmer by training, by practice, and by education. So thank you for your time and see you on the next one. Sheshe.